So basically I suddenly realised that I got these quite a few weeks ago and I've still not made a video about them. Uh, yeah, that's right, they're traffic lights, real ones. Um, I got them legitimately. Um, we were driving past a junction um, in the van while I was at work going to a job and the junction was having all its traffic lights being replaced. So um, I mentioned to the guy who was driving uh, that it'd be quite cool to actually have some of the old traffic lights. Um, and he agreed with me, he was like, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And um, we drove to the job. On the way back from the job, we went through the same junction uh, that was still having its traffic lights being replaced. And the guy I was working with said, um, do you want me to pull over so you can go and ask for one? So I was like, yeah, all right, go on. Um, I went up to the workman, um, sort of asked what happens to them when they get replaced. He told me they go off to be recycled. Um, long story short, I basically said that my brother wanted one for his birthday. Um, so he told me to go and take one, uh, but be quick in case his boss saw. So I took one and here they are. So the way they work is <coughs> you've got three separate um, power lines going to them. So I thought there'd be a common neutral and then three separate lives. But there's actually three separate neutrals and three separate lives. I don't know why they've done that. Perhaps it's if it's on... Yeah, I don't know why they've done that. But <coughs> inside there's three transformers. Um, a transformer for the green, a transformer for the yellow and a transformer for the red. Uh, and they put out 24 volts AC. And then there's a 24 volt AC bulb behind each of the things. Apart from the green, this one only had two bulbs in it and I've not ordered a, another one for the green yet. Uh, they're not coloured bulbs, they're just white bulbs. So the way I've got it set up, and I know I'm going to get a lot of crap for this because it's not very good, but this is how I've got it set up at the moment. It's a three-way light switch. Uh, attached to the wall with tape um, I am going to put a back box on this when I get around to it but for now it's only me who's using it I know that it's 240 volts and to be careful so it's fine um, so obviously that's for the green that's for the yellow that's for the red so that's what it's like when it's off uh, the green light does actually have a bulb in because I bought a bulb but it was the wrong type of bulb, so it doesn't really work. Um, so, yellow. Red. Um, and then, that's put onto a plug, which is this yellow one here. And that goes into a dimmer thing. So, you've got the plug here, goes into here, then out to this plug. Then this lead here comes to this, which basically lets me control the brightness. So if I switch the yellow back on, at the moment it's there, if I put it to there, it's on full brightness, but then I can dim it. So basically, I use this as a night light. Um, I can't dim the colours individually, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I use this as a night light. Now it is actually pretty bright. It lights. Oh, it lights up the entire room. Um, but it's also absolutely ginormous. Like it's massive. Um, it's bigger than. Well, it's about the same height as me. It barely fitted through that door. I had a lot of struggle getting it through this door. Um, it's also quite heavy, mounting it up there was a two person job. Um, and it occurred to me after I mounted it that, well, like, it's only got four screws to mount it. And um, while the screws I used are, you know, longer than this pencil, and they go right far in there. 
it's not made to be mounted sideways so it's not as strong as if it was mounted not sideways so what I should probably do is attach some hooks to the ceiling and then put a chain from the hooks into the traffic light so that if it does fall down because I have music very bassy and very loud which causes all sorts of crap to fall off shelves um, and I don't want these to fall down because it would be terrible if they did so yeah I'm going to put some safety chains in at some point I really should have done that when I first installed it because now I'm going to have to take it down again but yeah that's the video of my traffic lights um, thank you for watching if you want me to show anything more uh, or you have any questions just leave a comment thanks goodbye